the university's actions and inactions were a stark manifestation of institutional racism. It's, it's triumphant in a way and at the same time extremely sobering. Montreal's Concordia University has issued a formal apology to black communities for the harm caused by institutional racism and in particular for events that led to a landmark 1969 student protest as the school released a final report by its task force on anti-black racism that had been launched in the fall of 2020 following the murder of George Floyd. The goal was to develop ways to improve the lived experiences of black faculty, staff, and students. February the 11th, 1969, was a dark day. Many students, including myself, were beaten and tortured by the Montreal police. One of the suggested actions of the task force was for Concordia to acknowledge the role of racism in the 1969 student protest, which occurred after complaints of racial discrimination made by six black and Caribbean students against a university professor went unheard and dismissed. We also apologize for the harm that was caused to black students at the university and for the negative impact felt by black communities in Montreal and beyond. There are students here, black and non-black, um, who, like me, had no idea that these events had even taken place. And so what that also speaks to for me is the, in, the, the invisibility, the erasure of that experience. Today, we must recognize how institutional racism manifests itself, not just historically, but in the current reality of our education systems. Through consultations, the task force encountered some upsetting truths of the lived experiences of the black community on campus. From um, language in classrooms that people feel uncomfortable with to um, uh, uh, a student saying, I've done my entire academic career at Concordia, I've never once had a black professor. The task force made 88 recommendations, including develop a strategic plan for black specific data collection and increase the representation of black faculty and staff. These are initial great steps towards making amends and atoning for the past. But these plans you share with us today must be implemented. I'm daunted by how much work there is to do. Um, and yet at the same time, I feel like we have a point of departure. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.